Hey guys, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps, and today I'm doing uh, another something a little different. I am doing a whipped body slash beard butter. So this is a body butter that, yes, you can also use on your beards. Um, I am not adding wax into this, however, so it's more of a conditioning um, beard butter if you want to use it that way. Uh, not so great for like a styling. If you added wax, it would be better for styling, but it's a great, great conditioner. So what I've got going here, um, I've got my Pyrex in a uh, in, uh, water bath and I'm melting down my oils. We'll turn that down a bit. I've got my, I've got mango butter and cocoa butter in here now. And when these get all melted, I am then going to add my shea butter. And so uh, I'll be back at that point when I add in my shea butter. So hold on just a second. Okay, so I'm back and these oils are all melted. And I'm going to add in my shea butter. And let that dissolve down in the warm oils. Now, what I'm using here, I'll give you, I've got three ounces of cocoa butter, two and a half ounces, excuse me, of uh, mango butter, and three ounces of shea butter. So that's my base recipe right there. I'm just going to set this back over the warm burner. I don't have the burner on, but, but uh, we'll just leave that there to melt. And then over here, I've got, once that's all melted, I'm going to add in some sweet almond oil. I've got an ounce and a half of sweet almond oil. And then you can use whatever fragrances or essential oils you like on this. But for mine today, um, I am using Roman chamomile, lavender, um, I've got some rosehip oil. I'm just going to add in a couple droppers full of that as well. And then I'm going to go get my uh, peppermint oil. I love peppermint oil in just about anything. So I'm going to have it lavender, chamomile, and peppermint. So we're just going to let this melt down slowly. And then we'll be back and add our liquid oils. All right, so we've almost got our shea, or sorry, Oh yeah, our shea butter melted down. I've got just a couple bits left. Um, I talk about, I always add rosehip oil to my solid lotion bars. And I just, I really like the way they turn out with the addition of this. It doesn't take a lot. This is rather expensive. So I only put in like a couple droppers full. As you can see, I've got quite a bit left in here. I've had this for a little while. But, um... I just, I do love to add this in. It's just super luxurious. It's good for your skin, uh, just like everything else in here. You don't have to add it. I just like to add it as just an added bonus. So I've got just that last little bit in there. So we're going to, I'm going to take this out of my saucepan. Just set it on the stove here. There we go. And I'm going to pour in my sweet almond oil. And mix that in. Once we get all these ingredients in, then this will be going into the refrigerator for a while. Just to get to that semi-solid state where we can start whipping it in our stand mixer. Um, I'm going to put you on pause just for a second so I can get my jars opened up here. Hang on. Okay, so that was a little hard to do one-handed well, since I'm holding my camera. <laughs> so, so into this mix I am going to add, you can see it's not much in the dropper. I'm gonna, just going to add two droppers full. This uh, rosehip oil came with a dropper. So there's two droppers full. I would say that's probably about one milliliter 
each dropper, so maybe two milliliters of rosehip oil. I'm going to do the same, like that's probably half a milliliter, so probably one milliliter of the lavender, and oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now we're going to do two milliliters of the Roman chamomile. Mix that in really well. Oh, this smells heavenly. And then my favorite, which you can or don't have to um, add, about a milliliter and a half of the peppermint oil. So we'll stir that in. Ah, it just smells fantastic. Mmm, this is gonna be like super when it's whipped up. So okay, I've got everything added for now. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it set up and we'll be back. I have one more thing to add when we start whipping. So stay tuned for that. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're back and I pulled my my butters out of the fridge. You can see they're pretty thick now. I don't want it to get too thick. It's, it, it doesn't take long. You have to keep watching as it's in the fridge because, uh, you know, it can go from liquid to solid in the the drop of a dime so I'm gonna scrape this into my stand mixer and we'll start whipping it smells fantastic oh my goodness just so good um for those of you who don't know I've been on a weight loss journey here since uh, December 13th. So I'm starting into like week 10. And so far, I'm happy to report that I have lost almost 17 pounds. We're 16 point something right now. And that's uh, just doing uh, the treadmill uh, walking really, really fast on the treadmill and limiting my calorie intake. So I tell you, one of the, not to make myself sound like a lush, but one of the big things I've cut out is um, I used to have a glass of wine almost every night. Not every night, but almost every night. <clears throat> and uh, I've cut that down to one night a week. <laughs> so... That's one of the big calorie uh, culprits is wine. So anyway, lifted up my mixer. We're going to start mixing this and whipping it and uh, getting it to a nice consistency. I've got my jars handy. I've sprayed them with alcohol. And uh, when this gets whipped up a little bit more, I'm going to put in some arrowroot flour um, to help cut down on any oiliness that might be in there. So I'm going to turn up my mixer and uh, I'll bring you back when it's whipped up a little more. Okay, as you can see here, uh, let me show you, it, it's whipping up really nicely. Uh, not quite there yet, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some arrowroot powder and I'm just going to take like two tablespoons full and add that in. We'll start mixing that very slowly because we don't want a huge puff of powder. So we'll continue beating that in, and I do scrape down the side of my bowl every now and then, so we'll get the rest of that incorporated in, 
and I'll bring you back when it's ready to pipe into the jars. Okay, so I'm going to lower my bowl. As you can see, we've got a, a really nice stiff whip. So I'm going to take that off. Move my mixer out of the way here. Uh, and I've got my bag. Make sure you can see everything here. So we're just going to scrape my butter into a piping bag to fill my little jars with. It's just easier, maybe a little neater than than spooning it into the jars. This smells so wonderful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And spreads really nice and soaks really soaks right into the skin. Mmm. Gosh, it smells heavenly. So okay, I'm gonna pipe into my jars. So we'll just kind of glop that into my oops piping bag. <coughs> and Oh my goodness, I just, this is so fluffy and so light. I just don't mind getting it all over myself because it's just fantastic. So I set that off to the side. And I shake it down my bag. And I've just got a round tip in my bag. just to help me get it into my jars. I have four jars here, I might need more. We shall see. But I'm just gonna pipe it around till I get almost to the top. Give it a tap down, helps get any bubbles out. And we'll finish up. Oh, this is most wonderful stuff. Little air bubbles come up and, and get you. So there's two. I can't tell you guys, really, this smells so good. So I might get like three in a partial jar. Yeah, which is good. I use the partial. Just a little bit of leftover. Ta-da. Okay, so those are gorgeous. And that's for me. Now, if you're using this, gentlemen, if you're using this on your beard, really, you're not going to need more than, say, a dime, maybe a quarter size amount, even, probably not even that, maybe that much, rubbing it on your hands and then running it through your beards. Wonderful. Oh, gosh, I can't tell you. It smells really good. It's not overpowering. It's a nice, gentle scent. So that, that one's mine. And I've got my lids over here to top these off. I might have filled that one a little too full. Yeah, there's a little air bubble there. Just to try and get these down a bit. And I'll bring you down here. So there's our gorgeous little jars. And... These are like, I think these are like a four ounce jar. They're the smaller size. But uh, I filled up three and a partial. And most of it extra is on my skin right now. It feels wonderful. 
and smells fantastic. So anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you try this out and let me know how you like it. Use it with your favorite uh, essential oils or, you know, you can put a fragrance oil in here too, but I like the essential oils. Make sure you know which essential oils are good for you, um, especially if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, because uh, some of them are not good for you in that sense. So do your research. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and you'll be notified whenever a new video pops up. Until next time, catch us out on Facebook and Instagram at Dirty Booty Soaps. And we're also on Twitter. So until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now and goodbye, Emma, if you're watching, my little granddaughter. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye, guys.